Hello, Miss Flirt. Hello, how are you? Now, mate, uh, we wanted you to get down there to see if there's any celebrities trying to get it on. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you see any celebrities trying to get it on? You know what? Not so much of that this time. But, um, you know, there were a few people who had definite sort of chemistry going on. And you kind of wondered, like, um, Hugh Stewart and Jessica Murray. Now, they played brother and sister on Pack to the Rafters. But I tell you what, if I didn't know better, I would say that deep down there's some, there's some somebody wants to do something. So <laughs> I don't know if anything will ever happen, but you know what? Maybe mm. it should. Perhaps if they weren't playing brother and sister and they were playing boyfriend and girlfriend on the show, there would be mm. a bit of romance there because there are some sparks flying, I tell you what. Very cute couple. They said they were best mates and they pretty much hang out and do everything together. Yeah, but you kind of get, oh, I don't know. I think it goes perhaps a little bit deeper than mm. that, you know? What, what about... Um you know, celebrities having one too many shardies and uh, getting ugly. Did you see any of that? You know what? At, at the end, you're only allowed to go into the little room, so you only see the winners. And um, then you don't, you know, by that stage, everyone's on their best behaviour because they're coming out and they're <laughs> so terribly excited. Um, but even if they have had a few too many, you know, champagnes or a few bottles too many, probably, um, usually the, dr the adrenaline, you can't actually tell who's drunk and who's just so excited to have actually won something. Um, so they're all sort of jittery and excited. But, um, you know, I think the big, um, I, I don't know if anyone watched it, but one of the big, uh, the big things that I found really interesting was the people who weren't that happy with the decisions on the night and who actually didn't bother to try and hide it. And I always think that that's kind of not only really rude but it sort of makes you wonder how you're ever going to work with these people or ever see them again <laughs> when they find out that you just kind of didn't even bother to put a smile on your face when they won and um one of the big ones was like when um you know obviously so you think you can dance one logie <laughs> and um yes. <laughs> Both the, um, like, Dicko and Helen from Dancing with the Stars, their faces, I mean, they had the tight <laughs> lips, stern expression, the slight, you know, furring of the brow, and I thought, for God's sake, smile, smile, hey, you know. I tell you there what, mate. There's a rivalry it, between the shows, you know. When they um, won, you should have had a webcam in my lounge room, mate. I would have looked worse than Dicko. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, but, you know, there was, I have to say, throughout the night, um, Rose and Tasma, oh my goodness, you know, I, I have to say, for anyone who's in a long-term relationship and kind of thinks, you know, things are getting a little bit boring, you look at those two and you think, oh, bless, they're so sweet, you know, they are really, truly in love and they kind of put, I, I felt embarrassed actually because I sort of think, here I am, you know, being with my husband for four years and God, I wish I was like them because they're just beautiful, you know, they're sort of, they're so lovey-dovey and even, you know, during, you know, on the red carpet and later on, you know, backstage and they're just really, really very, very much in love and you can see that they're quite besotted with each other and actually not there, you know, they're not there, they're, of course, they're posing for the cameras, but it's very much about, you know, tip for tap playing, you know, and doing it for each other as well and that's kind of nice because a lot of the celebs are sort of on the red carpet out for themselves, you know, and they're not like that and sort of showing each other off. And it, it wasn't, was uh, sweet. it wasn't bordering on icky though, was it? <laughs> no, you know what? Um, it, they didn't have, you know, they're not kind of the hand all over each other couple, you oh, know. That's so, okay. yep. So it's not like, you know, they've practically got their tongues shoved down each other's throat or they're, you know, oh, darling, I love you. It's, it's not like that. It's just more, you know, they've got this undeniable sort of genuine and chemistry. Yeah. yeah, and it's just beautiful, you know, they sort of look at each other with these doughy eyes and it's, it's more about their body language. Their whole bodies sort of mirror each other and work together almost like they're dancing together and it's just, you don't see that very often and when you do, it's just like, oh, my God, you know. Don't wow. see and it very often. Really from a long way away, you notice them. It's sort of like they're... They stand out. You Come know, on, like, mate. Every year we see it from Bert and Patty. They can't <laughs> keep their hands off each other. Why are you going to be oh, me? Honestly, no, a couple of times yeah, the camera well, pans over. Oh, yeah, Bert's all over, Patty. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, but you see, that's the whole hands all over thing. I don't know. <laughs> Miss Flirt, that's thanks. That's icky, isn't it? Yeah, that's icky. <laughs> thanks so much for the wrap-up from the Logies. We'll talk to you again soon, okay? See you later. Have a great day. Perfect.